Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video. And on this video, <clears throat> we're going to talk about how to start a comic script or strip. Let's do that. <laughs> Actually, oh geez, that's, that's horrible. I could spell, guys. I promise you I can. Um, so, but first thing we're going to get to, and I will leave that in. I'm not going to edit it out because we all make mistakes. And so, um, to kick off this video, and this will be a fairly a shorter video because I'm, I'm going to upload a few more videos. I want to um, preemptively note that I haven't made a finished product of this beginning uh, comic script that we're going to do because it's just something I'm just making up from the top of my head. Um, we'll, we'll call this character uh, Captain Slug, you know, um, and that may even change. So that's not important. The thing that is important is uh, getting you started on making comic strips and comic series if this is something that you're passionate about and something that you want to get into so without further ado the first thing you want to start with and it may not it may not be the most exciting thing all depends on where your uh, your interests lie uh, because if you if you can draw but you like telling stories and you enjoy writing then this won't be too much of a a dull experience because it is it plays a, a major part of any uh you know comic strip you know uh, you need a story of some sort and so you need some sort of communication no not always you have certain works of comics where uh it, it's just non-verbal and and i actually have a, a series that's called life that it is nonverbal. It's it's just a series of illustrated panels, <clears throat> and the panels uh, tell a story, and the viewer makes their own interpretation of said panels. And perhaps I'll get into that to a, a, a second degree. Sorry that you're staring at a blank screen, um, and, and and not my face. But anyway, the most important thing is to see what I will be talking about. So here we're going to start with, I'm just going to slide this over onto this screen, the script. So you want to start a comic series and after you've, you know, you've developed your, and I, you know, technically I should have started with that. Um, but I'm just, I'm just trying to take the most simplistic and, and readily engaging approach. Um, because technically you should start with, okay, what's going to be my character, character development, character background, all of that. Uh, but let's just say you have a rough idea as far as what you want to do and, and, and who the characters will be or who they are. Um, when it's time for you to put pen to paper, pencil to paper, or like this, if you have a, a tablet um, what I'm using um, is a little bit more high tech, but I started off with just a uh, uh, a draw on tablet, and um, and that worked as well. You know, it just took me a, a while to not look at my hands and not a screen while I was drawing, um, but now I'm able to use um, um, this Wacom. Uh, monitor tablet where I can draw directly on that. Anyway, we're, we're getting off into the weeds. So once you have your character uh, uh, or characters um, set up, and again, I can go into that in another video. Uh, this is really more so like an overview of, hey, starting a comic script. You you always want to start with a script, and, and you don't always have to type it out like this. I have two young boys and I just don't have the time to, to go through typing uh, three, four scripts out and then 
proceeding with the illustration of those scripts. But I'm just going to show you this, and then I will. Man, this is taking longer than I thought. Then I will uh, perhaps in another video show you where I just write on the page the script, and then that even saves more time. But you want to start off with a script. You want to lay out, um, and this is good practice. Let's just say if you want to get into comics, but you're not artistic and you just want to write. And so uh, this will be helpful too, where you're able to practice laying out a scenery of, of either that panel or if it's going to be multi panels direction of, of where you want the artist, the penciler <clears throat> to illustrate what you have written. So <clears throat> it's just a good practice to, uh, to write it down and plus two sometimes you you know we can forget um, premises that we had in our minds so we're like oh wow even dialogue write it all down so that way you'll know that oh my that was really catchy that was really snappy i i like uh, the way i formulated uh, those dialogue points write it all down that way if you forget it's archived it's written it's recorded so here uh, just before we uh, get to closing of this video, this is about the barn. When I did the barn, I researched to see if there was any other comics, comic, comics uh, <clears throat> titled the barn. I did not find any, and it wasn't until a couple years later I saw the, you know, I stumbled across a comic titled the barn, researched it, and it was established before I did the barn. And so I, I just discontinue using the brand. And maybe I'll just rename it something else. Uh, but you want to make sure of that too, that you're not going to be in any copyright issues. So uh, so I titled it The Barn. And, and the premise, as you can see here, The Barn revolves around three unique young men who've moved into a petting farm. They experience the quirkiness of life in a barn shared with barn animals. Mike's character is easygoing and enjoys video games. Michael is soft-spoken. And more of an extrovert with unusual insightfulness while Malone is more outgoing yet reserved particularly while engaged with his newspaper reading they talk about their faith politics work and their current homestead so so that's the premise a little bit of character background as well just to formulate um, okay who are these characters or character that you're illustrating and so that you're creating and so here, barn, preliminary script, box one, uh, Mickey's position far right, Malone enters from left through the barn loft, door perplex, and then character, write their name, uh, and Mick, Mickey, where is it? That's Malone speaking, Mickey is speaking, where is what? <clears throat> now, box two, and this comic is a three panel uh, comic setup, so box two, again, and I'm doing everything like I'm typing, I'm writing out the script and I'm illustrating it. But I do it this way. That way it just it keeps it structured. <clears throat> Both men are in the same position with a slight close up on Malone, who is pointing off to his right. Malone continues. Where's the donkey? Mickey responds. Oh, Eeyore. <clears throat> and I, I don't know if I probably didn't spell Eeyore correctly there. <laughs> and then box three. Medium shot on Malone and Mickey. Malone's somewhat upset at Mickey's indifferent demeanor. Malone is like, yes, Eeyore. Probably should have an exclamation point there. Mickey responds, isn't it mating season right now? And that's the end of it. <clears throat> so, so here we're going to go. We're going to remove this. And I'm going to show you. And there's some changes that I made. So here, the donkey is called Eeyore. And you'll see in the... Uh, in the comic the final piece his name is changed to let me do this get a highlight um, I'll do watercolor so you'll see I may do a layer you'll see that I'll put this above everything you see that it says Uh, maybe I should have planned that out. 
uh, you see that it's it says Talib, and so uh, so I just decided to change that out. Um, but here, so Mickey, Mickey Malone. This is Malone. That's Mickey. And um, so Mickey's like, where is it? Where's what? Where's the donkey? Oh, Talib. Yes, Talib. Isn't it mating season right now? So starting off with that script. And there should be a way. There we go. Hopefully this won't be too small. Um, to show. So starting off with the script. It helps position the whole complete layout for the comic strip. So, beginning a comic uh, strip, a comic series, start off um, with the um, start off with the script, and and when you do that, you you're setting up the foundation. So you want to have a good foundation for your comic strip, and and then from there you can evolve it, change it up as as much as you want, um, and even while you're illustrating it, uh, it can evolve slightly into something uh, somewhat different without losing the core of the foundation that you started off with. So, how to start a new comic strip? Start with the script itself thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel uh, that'll be greatly appreciated be sure to like as well hit that like button uh, you can check out my patreon um, page patreon.com forward slash michelle lully and also facebook uh, at facebook.com forward slash michelle comics and my instagram as well so appreciate all your support and like i said much more videos to come with the whole process of creating a comic strip um and like i said i just want to take a very simple uh straightforward approach to it where it's not too complicated for you to start uh, whether you're going to do it traditionally or digitally thanks guys for watching have a blessed day good night good afternoon good morning Grace and peace.